Boys, this is probably the biggest update that we've ever had, aside from the Mimi one of course, because Mimi is number one. However, if you guys still have not logged into the game, there is going to be a large data download that you do have to do. It is going to be actually 3.9 gigabytes before you can log in after the maintenance. Hi. Welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about all of these quality of life updates that we actually got a lot earlier than anticipated. Okay, it's not like a lot, a lot earlier, but I'm pretty sure it's like at least two months early than when JP got them. And so my dudes, in this video, I am going to go through each of these different updates, show you what exactly they are and how they could possibly affect you or me or us. And so to kick things off, we have the new titles feature. That is number one, and we are going to go into our missions because you're gonna see that was a 99 plus. There are a lot of prizes for me to pick up over here. And so what you will notice is that there is a new title tab. I am going to be able to click receive all and Da, 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 da. I have 214 titles, I think, maybe. I mean, I'll try again. All right, so it's kind of lagging out. I think it's um, it's not very happy right now, considering I literally just tried to claim 214 titles, although it shouldn't be that big of a deal. All right, and so let's go into our title menu over here. You'll see that there is a new button. I'm gonna click on it, and here we can actually set a whole bunch of titles. So you see my current title is The Adventure Begins, and I think a lot of you are going to relate to a lot of these titles. Uh, totes will Whiz boy material, don't sweat it, ready for your lesson, you know what it is. However, I think the majority of you are going to fall under your punishment awaits because y'all being bad boys, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so before we move back to the menu and show you all the rest of them, I wanna show you the guys this guy over here. You can actually use this blue scroll bar where we actually previously could not. So especially for us emulator players, this is probably one of the biggest quality of life updates. And speaking of this, I actually should have probably mentioned this first, but the reason that the patch was so big, 3.9 gigabytes, was because we are getting an update to the engine. We are getting the updated Unity engine. And so hopefully our game should be playing a lot better, not only on emulator, but also on mobile. All right, so let's have a look at the next thing on the list. Add a new tags function to the character list. Very, very straightforward. So essentially we can go into any of these characters and then we can tag them over here, which is essentially favoriting your character. And when you do so, they will then surface to the very top. So if I come down here, I look at my Jun, I'm be like, Jun, you're kind of cute. I'm going to tag you and then I'm going to be able to actually sort by tags instead. So tags over here. And as you can see, Jun has surfaced to the very top. Very simple feature, but I think one that is like going to save a lot of time. And so next up, we have a four times speed option to battle arena and princess arena. However, what I do want to report is that this is actually not only limited to BA and PA. If I go over to, uh, let me go to Hatsune's perfect event. Uh, I think I haven't actually cleared all of the stages. So let's do this one over here. I'm going to go ahead and start and show you guys the freaking joy. Oh my God, I've been waiting for this feature for so long, but this is gonna save us so much freaking time to just do the first clues. Look at that. That is three arrows. That three arrows represents four times speed. That four times speed just represents like, it's good guys. It's really freaking good. All right, and so I'm gonna wait for that to wrap up and let's jump into our next feature. Actually, I just noticed something that I'm not sure is reported on the page. And that is if you actually go ahead and skip, Previously, we had to wait for all the skips to occur before we actually have the final outcome and then collect it all. What can actually happen now? Actually, you know what? Let me find a stage. What they have added is essentially a way to skip the skip feature. So if I hit OK, you're going to see... Oh, OK. So back to this one over here. You're going to hit Use, and then I'm going to hit... Actually, you know what? Let's just do three skips. Three skips, and then OK. And then I'm going to be able to skip complete. Bam! I am all the way at the freaking end. And so this is going to save a lot of time for the people who are skipping like 12 stages or 20 stages or like 30 stages because you have just refreshed like six times for the normal times too. And then it's going to go and then bam, you have all of your drops here. Okay, next. So for the next one, we have made some adjustments to the functionality of Battle Arena and Princess Arena. This one is an exciting one because it's essentially going to screw over a lot of mafias, a lot of lockers, a lot of anchors, a lot of snipers. Actually, I think snipers are actually going to thrive here. And so as you can see, there is actually a timer here now, which is going to force refresh. This means that it's going to be a lot harder to lock. It's going to be a lot harder to actually like anchor people and then ladder them. And all in all, if you're looking for like a more fair PVP experience, this is probably the update. This same gauge is actually going to be found in PA as well. And so you see it is over here. But speaking of PA, we also have this guy over here. Check enemy party in which we can see all of their parties in which I can't see any of their parties just because um, 
that's freaking life, you know? All right, and so next we have the quick start feature. This is actually one that I've been dying to use because like I've actually tried to do this and it didn't let me. So I'm going to come over to here and Mifuyu. And then on the top right hand corner, I'm going to see past parties. I'm going to click that. And then what you're going to notice is that there is a new button over here called use. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And essentially this is going to auto assign my characters into this party formation. So I'm going to click use and you're going to see bam. I can actually use their comp. I don't know if you guys noticed, but previously we weren't able to actually just like copy it down. We had to like take a screenshot or something and then manually copy it. So yeah, I don't know about for you guys, but like for me, this was something that I frequently did. All right, and so next we have guild house feature to improve furniture upgrading. Uh, this is a pretty interesting one because I don't know if I can talk about all of it without actually just referring to the notes. And so you'll find the notes over here, updates to upgrading enchanted furniture. This is quite big, but unfortunately I can't show you because my stuff is already like all upgraded and so essentially to sum it up first of all we have simultaneous upgrading if you guys remember before this patch we had to upgrade them freaking one by one i don't know why we had to do that maybe i don't know the technology wasn't there yet and then number two we have automatic completion so essentially when your furniture finished upgrading it would automatically complete and also start immediately generating new resources after that we also have the furniture notification so it's uh it's exactly what it sounds like okay and so next we have added the multi-rank up function to improve character enhancement. This is also a really big one because it means that you don't have to go all the way from rank one all the way to like freaking rank 12 or something. I'm going to click into Nanaka and I'm going to show you guys rank up over here and bam, we can actually select to go all the way up to rank 12 provided you guys have the right equipment because you know, if you don't have the money, you can't even get in my boys. And so if I was to hit rank 12 and I hit okay, it is going to do exactly what you think it's going to do. It's going to take me all the way to rank 12 with my Nanaka. And so next we have the stamina stock feature for returning players. This is also one that I unfortunately can't show you guys, but I'll just have to read to you and kind of make sense of it. So you'll see also in the notices, there is this new feature added stamina stock. So TLDR, essentially, if you have not been playing for a while, then you're able to stack up to 30 days worth of stamina generated by your furniture in the guild house and collect it all when you actually log back in. So as you can see over here, any player who logs in after eight or more date changes have passed since their previous login, it will then start accumulating. You can have a look at this example down here, but I think it's pretty straightforward as to like what exactly is happening here. However, I don't know if it's actually retroactive. I'm pretty sure that it's only going to start stacking from this patch onwards. So if you guys are like looking to get back into the game and you guys haven't logged in for like 30 days or so, I don't know, maybe you can like not log in for another 30. No, I'm just kidding. Just come play the game with us. Otherwise, there are a whole bunch of other rules such as like the stock limit as well as the expiry. I'm pretty sure it only lasts for like 24 hours after you've actually logged in and other important information like that. So get familiarized with it if you are going to be taking advantage of it. And so next we have added new bonuses to the mana exchange. Uh, this one's quite an interesting one because it's probably not going to affect most people. So I'm just going to head into the jewel shop and head into the mana exchange, which not very many people actually use. But TLDR, you can see over here, purchase 10 sets or more to receive bonus grotto attempts too. So that is actually pretty freaking big. And you can see the scaling down over here. Grotto attempts. So exchange number one is going to cost you 10 jewels. It's going to net you 12k mana and it might get you a whole bunch of other stuff. However, once you get to exchange number 10, you actually gain one extra grotto attempt. So that is technically speaking, going to be about like 190 or 200 gems for one grotto attempt. It could be a good deal. It might not be. I actually don't know, but I probably won't be doing anything like this because I want to save up for the rest of the year. But all I'm saying is that this is now an option for you guys if you guys are damn bad on mana, which Crunchyroll clearly knows that we are. And so lastly, we have this bad boy over here. Free jewels are now shared across platforms instead of being platform specific. Uh, this is a really big one for me because I tend to like, like playing in bed on my Apple device. However, like the majority of my gems are typically stored on my emulator, which is an Android device device. So having them consolidated now is actually really, really nice. And so with that, that's pretty much all of the updates. I don't think there's anything that I didn't cover. And I think we actually covered a little bit more such as those little scroll bars. But my guys, I do have one more update kind of thing to let you guys know about. And that is, you can see my emulator over here. You can see it is silky, silky smooth. We are on 70 FPS. And if I go into a main quest and I scroll around, you guys are going to be like, oh my God, it looks so good to the eye. Like, look at that. It's smoother than a baby's bottom. And the reason that this is possible, and this is not sponsored, is that they have actually fixed 
high 64 for BlueStacks 5. And if you go ahead and go into the settings and enable like the high frame rate mode, it is actually gonna work and it's gonna work like a freaking dream. And so my guys, that is going to lead us to the end of the video. And you already know what time it is. It is time for the secret question. Out of all of these different feature updates, which one has impacted you the most or do you like the most? For me personally, it is 100% the four times speed option in normal battles and actually in BA and PA as well. It is probably the feature that I've been waiting the longest for. And so I am so glad that it's finally here. And so enough about me, time for you guys to let me know down in the comments below, which of these you like the most. And if you do end up dropping a comment, I would really appreciate it because it means you watch up until the end of the video. So thank you guys so much. If you did like this video, then please consider a like. And if you would like to see more, then please consider a subscribe. But otherwise, as your girl Jun once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.